I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of magnesium. Now, this is an update to a video I made on magnesium back in 2017. You will learn why magnesium is used as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is how much to use of the recommended magnesium dosage, what time of day to use magnesium, and the potential side effects, and the best type of magnesium to buy to benefit brain health and cognition. So, why should you listen to this video about magnesium? Well, because magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body, and it's critical for your brain health. It's a cofactor in more than 600 enzymatic reactions in your brain and body. And over half the population is deficient in magnesium, according to studies. It is possible that some of the issues you're dealing with could be due to a magnesium deficiency. Sound good? Now, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button for my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps YouTube know to suggest this channel to someone else who may need this information too. And hit the share button so others can learn about magnesium and how it may help them reach their brain health goals. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about magnesium. Let's get started. Magnesium plays an essential role in neuroplasticity and adenosine triphosphate production, or ATP for short, which is fundamental to learning, memory, and cognitive function. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body. But many of us in Western society are living with a magnesium deficiency, and most are unaware of this deficiency. Magnesium in our diet comes from foods like green leafy vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, whole grains, poultry, beef, and salmon. Tap and mineral and bottled water are also used to be good sources of magnesium. But it varies by brand, source, and if the magnesium was filtered out during processing. Needless to say, there used to be many magnesium-rich foods that played an important role in your magnesium status and intake. But now, most need to get magnesium chelate by using a supplement every day. Magnesium is an essential part of neuroplasticity. Brain plasticity is the ability of your neurons to make cell-to-cell -cell connections to form and regulate learning and memory. With aging or insufficient magnesium in your diet, we lose brain plasticity, which results in a loss of cognitive function. Now, this is why a young person with an active, flexible brain easily catches new ideas and simply thinks faster than a person whose brain has lost plasticity and is more fixed in their patterns. Magnesium is also crucial to the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short, which is the primary energy source for producing your mitochondria in every one of your cells, including your brain. Now, adenosine triphosphate must be bound to a magnesium ion in order to be biologically active. This is critically important to how your brain's mitochondria and cells use ATP, including the synthesis of DNA and RNA. To put this in perspective, over 600 enzymatic reactions require the presence of magnesium ions for the catalytic action, including all enzymes utilizing adenosine triphosphate. Magnesium is even involved in how other nootropics in your stack are utilized by cells in your brain. The bottom line is magnesium could be one of the most important additions to any nootropic stack. Magnesium boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, magnesium is critical for neuroplasticity. Your brain is capable of forming new connections between neurons. When you take in new information, a signal is sent across the synaptic space between neurons. The ability of your brain to form these new connections is referred to as neuroplasticity. This neuroplasticity is how learning and memories are formed. When these signaling pathways break down, memories fade, and you start to forget simple things like people's names or phone numbers. A simple example of how this works is reading or just listening to this video. As you listen to this, your brain is forming and reforming new neural connections. When things aren't optimal, you'll find yourself listening and re-listening to this video so that you can get the content. Magnesium is critical for maintaining this neuroplasticity and your ability to learn and form memories. Magnesium ions control the ion channels and electrical switches for this signaling. 
The more signals that these ion channels transmit, the stronger the connection between neurons, and the stronger the formation of the resulting memory. Many studies demonstrate the detrimental impact of insufficient magnesium on optimal cognitive function. And the second way that magnesium works in your brain, it's required for ATP synthesis. Adenosine triphosphate is the main energy source produced within mitochondria in brain cells. 20% of your body's total ATP is located in your brain. For ATP to be biologically active, it must be bound to a magnesium ion. About two-thirds of your brain's energy budget is used to help neurons send signals to neighboring neurons. The remaining third is used for housekeeping or cellular maintenance. Y. Chen, a radi radiologist at the University of Minnesota Medical School, was a co-author of a study on the brain's use of adenosine triphosphate. The team used MRS technology to measure the brain's energy production during shifts in activity. Their study on lab rats noted that when the rats were knocked out, they produced 50% fewer ATP molecules than when they were mildly anesthetized. Chen noticed that the ATP produced when the brain is inactive, it goes to cell maintenance. This housekeeping is important for keeping the brain tissue alive. The other two-thirds are needed for other cellular processes, including recharging neurons so they can fire and create the electrical signals needed for neuron communication required for learning, memory, recall, and cognition. Without magnesium, your brain cannot produce adenosine triphosphate, and all brain functions break down. As magnesium levels decline, adenosine triphosphate levels decline in mitochondria. Cognition, learning, memory, and recall decline. Brain cell plasticity declines. Free radicals uh, damage brain cell mitochondria. That increases. All of these changes can happen at any age and can be a result of not getting an adequate supply of magnesium. So magnesium supplementation can help for age-related cognitive decline as well as anyone who wants to boost cognition, learning, recall, and memory. Magnesium plays a critical role in supporting neuroplasticity, which fun is fundamental for a youthful, flexible brain. A brain that is optimized to support cognition, learning, and memory. Raising brain magnesium levels has been proven to restore neuroplasticity and improve cognitive function. Magnesium deficiency has been associated with Alzheimer's disease. Scientists have found that treatment with magnesium l 3 and 8 decreases beta amyloid deposits in the brain and is able to rebuild signaling pathways in neurons helping to restore memory. And magnesium is required for adenosine triphosphate synthesis in brain cells, providing the mental energy needed for cognition, memory, recall, and learning. Most neurohackers report an increased level of focus, energy, memory, and cognitive ability when taking magnesium supplements. You should also experience an improved quality of sleep and have an overall improvement in mood. One of the most common reasons we use nootropics is to boost memory and mental energy. Memory loss dramatically reduces the quality of life and simple brain fog makes it difficult to accomplish the simplest of tasks. Research has shown that magnesium is involved in memory, learning, and cognition in several levels, and supplementing with magnesium is one of the most fundamental things you can do to boost cognition. Synapses in the hippocampus and other areas of the brain strengthen the more they're used. Even brief repetitive activity results in a substantial increase in synaptic strength. The results can last for several hours or even weeks afterwards. This is called long-term potentiation. Several studies have been conducted on magnesium supplementation and its effects on memory in the last 20 years with positive results. This study on age, on age and young rats found that adding magnesium to their food improved learning. Researchers have found that magnesium works in the hippocampus to suppress the release of the stress hormone ACTH. This is the hormone that tells your adrenal glands to release more cortisol and adrenaline. Too much cortisol eventually damages the hippocampus in your brain. This causes a negative feedback loop which results in even more stress, which is toxic to the brain and your entire body and one of the causes of chronic depression.
A study was done with 5,708 people aged 46 to 49 and 70 to 74 years old in Norway. The aim of the study was to examine the association between magnesium intake and depression and anxiety. The researchers concluded that low magnesium intake is related to depression, and they stated, these findings may have public health and treatment implications. Well, duh. <laughs> Another study done with 12 subjects found that magnesium supplementation improves sleep, and it lowered the stress hormone cortisol, concluding that magnesium has possible efficacy as a mood stabilizer, unquote. Magnesium in the treatment of ADHD is becoming more mainstream, and there is a growing body of research that supports the idea that one of the factors causing ADHD is a lack of magnesium. A study in Poland showed that 95% of the children examined with ADD or ADHD were magnesium deficient. The recommended magnesium dosage is the most, in most common forms is 400 milligrams per day. But the problem is most magnesium supplements don't work well as a nootropic because they don't cross the blood-brain barrier. Research be begun at MIT by Dr. Inish Slutsky came up with a new magnesium supplement called magnesium l 3 n This new magnesium compound easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. This form of magnesium was patented and now produced by Magteen. Science. Several supplement companies sell magnesium with this branded form. The recommended dose of magnesium L3 and 8 is up to 1 gram per day. Chelated magnesium and lab grown magnesium are suitable alternatives and covered in more detail in a bit. Magnesium is water soluble, so you don't need to take it with a meal or a healthy fat. Most forms of magnesium can cause diarrhea, bloating, and can lower high blood pressure if used in excess. Magnesium l 3 a contains less elemental magnesium per dose and should not cause gastrointestinal upset. Magnesium is sold as a magnesium aspartate, biglycinate, lactate, oxide, chloride, taurate, magnesium l 3 a magnesium citrate, and magnesium sulfate. Depending on the type of magnesium, it comes in capsules, chewable tablets, powder, extended release tablets, or in liquid solution. Magnesium oxide is widely available in supermarkets, drugstores, and vitamin shops. It's popular because it's cheap to manufacture, but it's not chelated, and your body does not recognize it as a mineral that it can readily use. So you can't use magnesium oxide or citrate as a nootropic supplement. As an individual supplement, the patented form of magnesium l 3 n 8 called magtine easily crosses a blood-brain barrier, and it's recommended because even in high doses, it does not cause diarrhea. Most multivitamins include a small amount of magnesium oxide, which is useless as an ingredient. A far better option is Performance Labs Nutrigenesis Multi for men or women, which includes their proprietary Nutrigenesis form of magnesium, which is grown in a yeast culture. It's nature identical and highly bioavailable and can get into your brain. Now, one of the many benefits of magnesium as a nootropic is in helping you fall asleep and stay asleep. But you need higher doses of magnesium to accomplish this. And I get my extra magnesium from the Performance Lab Sleep Supplement, which contains a combination of magnesium biglycinate, magnesium taurate, and nutrigenesis magnesium. This sleep stack also contains l uh, L-tryptophan and tart cherry concentrate. The magnesium in this sleep stack works with L-tryptophan to help synthesize serotonin, which can then produce melatonin in your brain. And tart cherry is a natural source of melatonin. I highly recommend this nootropic sleep stack. I'll include a link to my full review of this sleep supplement down below in the notes section below this video. So that's my report on magnesium. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to Nootropics Expert, my website, and search for magnesium. Or click on the link below in the notes section that's below this video. Once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll find dozens of other articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy 
of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And my four-time award-winning book, Head, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements, should once again be available this coming week. Thank God. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and will be available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You'll be able to get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You will find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. And did I mention Head First won four awards? You really need to get a copy if you haven't already. Head First will be available worldwide. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below in the notes section below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.